In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to restore your IQ head back to the 20,000s factory setting. This is necessary when you realize that your IQ head is not operating optimally. This can be demonstrated and duplicated by pulling down on the chuck lock nut and focusing right here on the collar at the top of the spindle assembly. And if you just pull straight down, you will notice that there's either too much play or too much stroke or none at all. Now that you know the indications that your spindle is out of adjustment, we're going to move forward and show you how to set it back to the 20,000s factory setting. We begin doing this by backing out the screw on the collar here. And once we loosen that up a little bit, we're going to rotate this knurled spindle adjuster counterclockwise until it comes to a complete stop. Once you get it to come to a complete stop, you're going to rotate it clockwise one third turn. Once we do our one third turn, we are going to tighten back down the screw on the collar and this should get us right back to the 20,000s factory setting. There is one more step that we are going to take you up top on the spindle and show you how to adjust the spring. In this segment we are going to cover how to set the spring adjustment to tune in our spindle for optimal head vibration. And we do this by first of all making sure that we have our power stroke set at 100 percent. Then we need to come up top here and there is a button head set screw that prevents rotation of the spring adjustment during operation. So we get this out of the way. And then we want to turn on our head vibration. So we turn on the head vibration, we want to take our Allen wrench and come up top here. And by turning clockwise, we increase tension of the spring adjustment, and by going counterclockwise, we decrease spring tension. And while we're rotating here, we're paying close attention to how the sound is resonating. We want a nice, smooth sound coming from the machine. And the second component is, it should be difficult to stall the machine by pushing up on the brass fitting. It sounds like we're almost there. So now that we now that we have achieved the optimal head vibration, we take our button head screw and we go ahead and we make sure that the slot on the spring adjustment is in line and it appears as though it is. We make sure we put that back in place and now we have achieved setting the head at the 20,000s factory setting and fine tuning it for optimal head vibration and you can enjoy smooth operation of your metal disintegrator. You can also refer to your manual where we have pictures and instructions detailing how to adjust your IQ head.